Welcome back sports fans. This season marks just the second year that flag football has been recognized as a GHSA sport. In a year two, the Dodge County Indians are already set to play for a state title. Coach Clint Sanders and his team grabbed a 13-6 win over Riverwood in the semifinal on Monday afternoon in Atlanta, getting the Indians to 12-1 on the season. S senior quarterback Annie Jones threw for a couple touchdowns while Alteria Gooch came up with a key interception late in the second half to seal the victory. And now the attention turns to Lithia Springs for the state championship. The Lady Lions are 15-3 on the year. Dodge County reached the quarterfinals of last year's state tournament. And from day one, a state title has been their ultimate goal. We had a, a five seniors last year that started us off in the right direction. We've got 12 seniors this year. And they have, uh, they have really taken ownership in this. And this, this was their goal all year long. Um, you know, we just have a medal right now, but we're going to get that ring Thursday. So just adding more jewelry to my collection. And the Indians will try to secure that ring against Lithia Springs Thursday afternoon at 1245 from Center Park Stadium in Atlanta. We still have a slew of state title games left in the GHSA, but only two with Central Georgia ties. You just heard that one. And then on Saturday, the Warner Robins Demons looking to make it back to back as state champs when they challenge the Calhoun Yellow Jackets Saturday at 330. Both games will take place at Center Park Stadium, home of the Georgia State Panthers. Hopefully there'll be no rain. Thank you, Ben. On Saturday. Hello, everyone.